Hi Eiffel, so we're going to be looking at uh, artist reference today and we're still going to be focusing on our theme of portrait. So what I've done is I have created a PowerPoint with three different artists on and what I'd like you to do is to pick one of the artists to create your artist reference. Now an artist reference is a bit like a fact file so uh, it gives you key information about the artist and maybe what they did um, so it's kind of facts. We find out facts about them. Um, find using research in art is really important because when we understand a bit more about the artist and their history, we can then understand their artwork a bit more. Um, and actually, I, this, I, when I've been creating this, have learned some more facts about artists that I didn't know. I, I, I didn't know. Um, so I hope you enjoy learning about these. Um, I'm going to lay my page out first with my presentation. Then I'll talk you through the PowerPoint and how to use it. So you four, I have now done a layout for my artist reference or my artist fact file, and I've done the sections. I will create this on a worksheet for you, a template to help you just with laying things out. So I've got um, a title space up here for my artist name, a big box here for a drawing of the artist's work, just one piece I'm gonna pick. I have then got a box here and a box here. So in this box, I'm gonna put my opinion on why I like the artist's work. And on this box, I'm gonna create facts and the facts I'm gonna find on the PowerPoint. So I'm just gonna now um, add in the title of the artist I'm gonna choose. Um, I'm gonna put up here, my opinion. Down here, I'm gonna put my facts and then I'll talk you through the PowerPoint. Okay, so here we go. So um, I have chosen Frida Kahlo. Um, I have, because I found out some good information about her today. I think she's very interesting. So I've added in a title of Frida Kahlo. Make sure you spell this correctly. Um, otherwise it's a bit awkward with the artist's name not being correct, so spell it correctly please. Uh, I've then got my opinion box and my facts box. I'm now going to talk you through the PowerPoint. lesson. So here it is, here is the year four portrait PowerPoint. And then if I go across, um, you will see there are three artists in here. We have Vincent van Gogh. It gives you some information here in the text. If you would like to, you can also click on a video um, to hear some information about them. Um, but the videos are five or ten minutes long, so if you're going to watch the video, make sure it's the artist you're going to pick. So if you're not sure, have a look at the text here and read it through. Then have a look at some of their artwork that they have created on portraits. And if you like that artist, you can just go back to the first um, section on that artist and watch the video to help you if you would like. It's there just in case. And to click on the video, if you just click on it, um, it will take you to the link uh, that's on YouTube on that artist. Uh, if I then now go ne next to, here we go, this is who I'm going to look at, is Frida Kahlo. Um, I just was very interested by her story um, about how the fact that she was in bed a lot because um, she had a spinal injury. Um, so I thought it was very interesting how she could paint in bed, basically. And again, we've got a video here, the red link, which again you can click on, It'll take you directly to the YouTube video on her. So if you want to see if you like her work, have a look through her portraits first. And then if you like those portraits, you can go back to her introduction and you can use that to help you with your work. The third one I have done is Pablo Picasso. Here he is. And again, same thing. There's a video on him here if you'd like to watch it. Uh, try not to watch all three videos. If you want to watch the videos, um, just pick the, uh, the video of, of the artist that you're going to choose. Otherwise, it's going to take a lot of your time up in this lesson. So again, with Paolo Picasso, if you like his work, have a look at his images here to help you. Okay, and that's the end of the show. So, um, three to choose from. Like I said, I'm going to uh, look at Frida. And like I said to you before, if I just use my mouse here, oh, there it is. Uh, and if I click on that, can you see how it highlights to a YouTube link, a video? So if you click on it, give it a little bit of time, uh, it will then pop up with a new screen and you'll be able to watch that video if you would like to. I'm just going to close it down though, so I don't need it right now. Um, so I'm going to come back to my page here. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to pick a piece of work to draw in this box and I'm going to write some opinion and some facts as well on the artist. So I've just got this worksheet here to help us with this task. Um, you can see we've got the objective here. Now the task, I've talked you through already, but just to clarify, so have a look at the PowerPoint and pick your artist, draw your layout on your page, and I've done it here for you too to help. 
Then we're going to do the writing first because that is the most important bit. So to first of all write out your facts using the PowerPoint or videos to help you. Then we'll go on to opinion and then we'll finish on the drawing. So if some of you don't get onto the drawing, please don't worry um, because that is, it, it is important in art. But today we're really focusing on research and facts. So that's what we're going to have it as the last task for this uh, lesson today. I'm now going to do it in the order as on the sheet. So I'm going to do my facts. I'm going to use the sentence starters here on the worksheet to help me. And then I'll go into my opinion. And again, I've got sentence starters here to help me. Uh, and then I will go on to my drawing. Okay, year four. So I've just finished my writing. I've got my four sentences here and I've used the worksheet to help me start those. And I've got my three opinion ones here. I'm now going to complete my page by adding in a drawing of, of one of Frida Kahlo's works on the PowerPoint that's linked with this lesson. If you only get to this point uh, and you don't have time for the picture, it's absolutely fine because I know for some of you this writing will take time. If you are someone who's able to go onto a picture, that is really good. Um, but the picture, I guess you could say, is a bit more of an extension for if you have time. So I'm going to work on my picture and I'll show you when it's finished. OK, so I have picked this image here of Frida Kahlo with her hair down. And I have just started drawing out in pencil. Now, another thing that might happen is you might get to this point and you might run out of time. So you may have been able to do a drawing, but it just be in pencil. Again, absolutely fine. Just do the best. I can see already, if I compare this drawing to the original, it's very similar, but I can see there are a few mistakes. I'll try my best to fix them as I go, but please don't worry if it's not a perfect copy because it's just practice. I even know that when I've been drawing this bit here, that the leaves on this kind of flowery plant here, they aren't perfect, they aren't exactly right, but I can still see that this bit here is this bit within the drawing, so I'm happy with that. What I'm now gonna do to finish this off is I'm gonna add some color. I think I'm gonna use color pencils um, because they are easier to control. And my page will be finished. Okay, here we go. So all finished. So I've added colour to Frida. Uh, I've done the best I can. It's very similar. I haven't worried about all of the little details because I know I haven't got loads of time. So I haven't put in the writing here. I haven't worried too much about the background. But my main focus really was the portrait because that's what the project's all about. And I'm very happy that this image looks very similar to this one. Uh, I've then finished off by adding in similar colours to the title that match the picture just to bring it all together. Uh, and that is my fan artist reference. So as always, um, please upload your work to Teams and I will give you feedback. And I hope you enjoy learning about some artists and their history.